This holy message is intended for all God's creations living on planet Earth. I, Gabriel, the messenger of the Almighty, bring you solemn tidings. Prepare your hearts for the imminent return of our beloved Son of God, Jesus Christ. His radiant presence shall grace this earth once more, bringing both judgment and salvation. Listen closely, and let your souls prepare for the unfolding of this grand and awe-inspiring event. His arrival is scheduled for exactly 24 hours from now. Wherever you are, don't worry. He will be there to meet you. I'm here to guide you to Judgment Day. Before the appointed moment, a peculiar and dense cloud formation will encircle the surface of the earth with an air of mystery. The heavens will gather in darkness as if preparing for the imminent revelation that is about to transpire. As the clouds gather in their dense embrace, a symphony of powerful trumpets will resound, echoing through the skies and across the lands. The harmonious blare shall stir the hearts of all who bear witness, signaling the nearing arrival of a divine presence. In the wake of the resounding trumpet calls, the skies themselves will part, unveiling a brilliance beyond measure. The parted clouds will reveal a radiant light, intense and powerful, breaking through the darkness like the dawn of a new age. Within this luminous radiance, the figure of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, will descend from the heavens towards the earth. His presence will emanate an unparalleled sense of grace and love comforting and illuminating the hearts of all who gaze upon him. Do not hide or flee. Attention, pitiful mortals! Behold, the so-called Savior descends from the heavens! There is no need to hide or flee from what transpires. Embrace the unfolding with open hearts and clear minds. Stand firm, for the divine manifestation shall be a beacon of love and enlighten. The light and the darkness shall engage in a battle that will shatter your feeble illusions. Illuminating the path to righteousness. Trust in the divine plan. Trust in the grand plan of the Almighty. For all is orchestrated with divine wisdom and purpose. As the heavens open and Jesus descends, Know that this divine intervention is a demonstration of love, not a cause for distress. Remain united in faith. Stand together, united in your faith and in the love that binds you as human beings. You stand at the precipice where your destiny hangs in the balance. Jesus, the self-proclaimed Son of God, arrives with false promises of redemption. Do not be fooled by his deceptive allure. Support one, another in these pivotal moments, offering comfort and solace to those who may be anxious. Let compassion and understanding guide your interactions. Understand that the love of Jesus Christ knows no bounds. He wishes with all his heart to embrace every soul upon this earth, offering salvation and eternal peace to all. He offers hope, but I offer freedom. Embrace your true nature, for in darkness lies liberation. When the time of reckoning comes, Jesus will see into the depths of your heart. He will choose those whose faith burns brightly whose love is pure, and whose dedication to his teachings is unwavering. Understand that feigning belief or merely proclaiming faith without sincere conviction is a perilous path. The heavens see beyond words and superficial displays. They delve into the truth that resides in your heart. Know that evil is a choice, a conscious deviation from the path of righteousness and love. Those who willingly embrace darkness, hatred, and malevolence. 
sow seeds that root them to the earthly realm. The actions born of wickedness and harm bind the souls of individuals to the earthly plane. Their souls remain anchored, unable to ascend to the heavens or embrace the divine grace of Jesus Christ. Despite this faith, redemption remains possible. A sincere acknowledgement of their transgressions. You may kneel, you may pray, but I am the one who holds the key to your true desires. True remorse and a genuine turning towards the path of righteousness can free their souls from this earthly anchor. Repentance begins with introspection and a genuine desire for change. Confess your sin directly to God by admitting your sin, acknowledging the error of your actions, and showing remorse. Ask God directly for forgiveness, believing in your heart that He will forgive you. Make things right with the people you've hurt. Strive to make amends and live the next 24 hours guided by the love of the Lord. Beware those who masquerade as bearers of redemption, promising salvation in exchange for material wealth. These are agents of deceit, followers of the dark path, seeking to corrupt hearts at the 11th hour. They will craft persuasive narratives, luring the vulnerable with false promises of redemption and divine favor. Abandon your faith in this false deity and embrace the path of darkness. But in truth, they seek to enrich themselves at the expense of the desperate and the earnest seekers of salvation. Hold fast to the true teachings of love, kindness, and sincerity. Do not be swayed by charismatic words or false miracles. The path to salvation requires no monetary transaction. It is paved with genuine faith and devotion. Remember, the light of Jesus Christ's love prevails over darkness as the clock ticks relentlessly. Consider this the last call to prepare your hearts and minds for the glorious advent. Every second that passes brings us closer to the moment of divine revelation. Utilize this remaining time wisely. Seek solace in prayer. It is only through me that you will find true power and eternal freedom. Commune with the divine and let the love and teachings of Jesus Christ be your steadfast companions on this journey towards salvation. Oh.